let's have a look at something called centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is the change of velocity, not angular velocity, velocity with time around a circle, because we're still thinking about uniform circular motion. All right, so let's draw it. Let's see, we always want to draw it. So there's our circle here. We got the center, got our horizontal axis, got our mass somewhere out here at increasing theta. Therefore, we know that we have an omega vector like that. Like we just said, angular velocity is a vector. And we know that in an instant, this is moving with speed v. Or if you want to think of the vector in an instant, it really has a velocity uh, v going around that way. So we could say centripetal acceleration, the change in the velocity. But the trick is that the velocity magnitude doesn't change. That's, the, that's what uniform circular motion is. It goes around with the same speed. So the velocity of magnitude, or the speed, remains constant. Mm, so how can there be acceleration if the speed remains constant? Mm. But the direction changes. And basically, when you're calculating acceleration, the direction changing counts. All you need is a change of the velocity. It can either change the magnitude or it can change the direction. So let's now calculate uh, what this would be. So if we want to calculate an acceleration, we'd say A is delta V over delta T. So the acceleration like that. So let's think about this delta v. So what we want to do is look at two times around the circle. So let's imagine one time here, we'll call that naught, and another time here, we'll call that f. So omega is the same. It's still circular motion like that. But at this point, it's traveling with v naught like that. And at this point, it's traveling with vf like that. And they're supposed to have the same magnitude. We're just changing the angle. And in this time, you have delta t. The time lag between those two points is delta t. So what we would say then is the delta v would just be v final vector minus v initial vector over delta t. Well, rather than writing another equation, let's just draw the vectors and see what v final minus v initial looks like. So if we're going to subtract two vectors, you just add them head to tail, but you flip the second one. So first, I'll just draw v final again. It looks kind of like that. And then I will add head to tail the negative version of v naught, the initial velocity. So it was like that, so it goes up like that. That's minus v naught. So when you add those head to tail, you get a vector, a vector. It looks like that, v final minus v naught. So you can see that this acceleration vector points in, right? It points this way in. And if you do that anywhere, if you make the gap smaller and smaller, you find everywhere you go, the acceleration points in. Uh, acceleration vector. Everywhere you go, ugh, acceleration points in. Even if you go here. And you did it on either side, you'd find acceleration points in. So that's what we call it, the centripetal acceleration. A centripetal means center seeking. Right? So that's why I'm going to put the C on, and I kept putting it on here instinctively, and now I can finally do it. Oh, it feels much better. Those are all centripetal accelerations, center seeking accelerations. And they seek the center because of this simple combination of V naught, VF, and calculating VF minus V naught. Um, so if we want to describe mathematically then the centripetal acceleration, it is a vector. And this is just a linear acceleration. This is not angular acceleration. 
Right, so this speed V is just like a linear speed, just like from the first class, first uh, course one. And this acceleration is just like an acceleration from course one. The magnitude, I'm not going to derive. I don't really have a good intuitive way to explain the magnitude. You can do it with geometry, but you don't get much out of that, in my opinion. So I'm just going to give you the magnitude. The magnitude is V squared over R, the speed squared over the radius of the circle, and it's towards this, toward the center. So when I write towards center, I'm giving you the direction. Therefore, I'm calling it a vector. OK? So that is the centripetal center-seeking acceleration.